Hello there design sparkers. Uh, I thought that uh, it was about time I had a bit play around with uh, the new tool in the latest version of Design Spark, uh, version 4. They've given us a blend tool. Uh, this seemingly innocuous little icon here is the blend tool. And I've having, been having a, a bit play around with it. It's quite powerful and it can result in some quite unusual shapes. Here's the one here. Put a few holes in. Uh, so let's so let's have a look at the uh, blend tool and see what we can come up with. Okay, so let's uh, play around with uh, a few things. Select the line tool. Uh, just put a line in here. Uh, escape another one. Put one in an angle. And. Another one, perhaps another one over here. Okay, pull. Now we can stretch these out a bit. And we'll make this one go the other way. And then we've got a few planes to play with. Now then, let's uh, select the blend tool. Select one plane, <clears throat> hold the control key, select this one. We've got a blend between those two, select another one. And it's blended again. Select this one. Okay, that's worked. Now if you like this, you click the tick mark, and there we have a rather weird sort of shape. We can of course manipulate this, we've got a flat side here, suppose we want to put a hole through, select that face, put a hole on it, pull, now because that hole is on a solid face, we should be able to pull it straight through. And it has done it. Now that is... Can you imagine the mathematics that is needed to create that through that shape? That is absolutely amazing. Hi! Uh, I've uh, just had a bit more play around here and I felt I should show you this. Uh, I've backtracked a bit back to the planes. That one's gone away but we can bring that back. Anyway, I'm going to select this plane here and put a sketch plane on it and then draw a circle. Then trim away straight lines, I just want to make a, a circle instead of a rectangle. Okay, now we'll go back to the design mode with D. I want to get this one back, so pull and left key, pull that up. Right, we've got the three rectangles and one circle. And we're going to use the blend tool on them and select the blend tool and then select that one then hold the control key and select that hold keep the control key down select that one and control key and select that one there we go now if you like that we select the tick mark and we've completed our blending. Well, a sculpture that uh, Epstein himself would be proud of. So, there we go. We can blend between all sorts of objects at all sorts of angles. Rectangles, circles, no doubt we can have polygons, ellipses, etc. So I'll leave it up to you 
up to you people to experiment with this blend tool and I think with it you are limited only by your imagination. So this of course is just a, a bit of fun. I'll try and think of something a bit more practical to do with the blend tool uh, next time. So I hope you found this interesting as I have. So please subscribe and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.